filling uh, requires three materials the first one is the etchant then bonding agent and the composite hello everyone today we are going to see about the various basic materials required in a dental clinic so we'll start with uh, restorative materials so this is a glass anomalous cement which is used for uh, restoring the cavities which is known as uh, catac molar uh, which has got uh, very good uh, mechanical properties and it is commonly used for posterior teeth restoration as a bulk uh, filling restoration its compressive strength is uh, around 270 megapascal which is uh, very near to the conventional amalgam next we have another type of glass anomalous cement that is uh, restore glass it has got various shades uh, we can select the shade depending upon the tooth which we are going to uh, restore it is basically used uh, in non stress bearing areas such as uh, the cervical areas basically for the cervical abrasion cases uh, the next product we have a similar glass anomalous cement which is uh, the brand name is miron which is a, a, a looting cement which is basically used to uh, fix the crowns that is uh, caps, uh, pores, uh, various orthodontic brackets or raffle which is a temporary restorative material ready to use type with zinc oxide and zinc sulfate one used uh, until it gets a permanent filling. Next we have the dical which is calcium hydroxide which is used in deep purple cavities where it is almost exposed it has got sedation effect and thermal insulation effect which has comes as a base and catalyst we mix both these and apply it on the deeper pulpal cavities so it has got healing effect on the pulp so it is always as uh, combined with this aura filgy that is a temporary filling we apply dical at the over the pulp and then temporary filling this is zinc oxide uh, powder and uh, the eugenol liquid okay so in case oh, we don't have the ready to use material that is this orafil g uh, instead of this orafil g uh, we can use this zinc oxide uh, base uh, i mean zinc oxide powder and liquid and it can be also used as root canal sealant material so this will be mixed with uh, gutta percha uh, cones and will be uh, sealed to the uh, root canal uh, this is a gel uh, which is a etchant okay it consists of acid uh, intent to create microporosities on the enamel surface which will be applied on the surface of enamel it uh, causes demineralization and removes uh, enamel and creates microporosities and increases the surface energy it is the first step of a composite restoration because composite has to come and uh, bind to the two surface but it is done with the help of bonding agent once the etchant is applied and microporosity is created we clean it off we uh, make the surface uh, very dry then we apply the bonding agent this bonding agent helps to bond the uh, composite material to the tooth so this is a composite material which will be bonded to the tooth with the help of bonding agent so depending upon a uh, patient's tooth shade we can uh, select the shade so a composite filling uh, requires three materials the first one is the etchant then bonding agent and the composite filling material this is anoseal. Anoseal is nothing but a light curing uh, ready for use a glass anomal composite cement and it can be used for uh, various restorations and fissure sealants. So anoseal is basically used as a fissure sealant. Next we have endoprep RC which is a basically a EDTA containing a root canal irrigant that is EDTA and carbamide peroxide which is a root canal irrigant and condition similarly another brand also we have uh, EDTA is nothing but to facilitate a calcified canal which is a chelating agent next we have seal apex it also comes like a base and a catalyst uh, tube 
tube system which is a eugenol free calcium hydroxide root canal sealant uh, which is used in uh, sealing of root canals which promotes uh, rapid healing and uh, also uh, formation of heart tissues and uh, this is a uh, topical anesthesia that is in the form of gel this is a benzocaine gel which can be applied over the mucosal surfaces uh, for the procedures very surgical procedures or also to remove the milk teeth that is uh, kids teeth uh, which is a benzocaine uh, gel whereas uh, adult uh, teeth or a uh, better anesthesia can be uh, obtained by this uh, lignocaine solution this is applied uh, through the injection uh, this is a lignocaine uh, adrenaline injection lignocaine and also adrenaline is there adrenaline will not be there uh, plain uh, lignocaine will be given for patients with cardiac diseases because this adrenaline is a vasoconstrictor which is contraindicated in cardiac patients and uh, next we go to uh, basic uh, stones that is uh, which is type 4 dye stone uh, we use this powder to create a uh, cast various diagnostic cast uh, cast for denture and uh, fixed partial denture fabrication and also for orthodontic purposes similarly we have this is gold stone that is gypsum plaster type 3 which has got a uh, lesser properties compared to the uh, previous one uh, we have all the details mentioned over the pouch uh, this is a uh, green in color and its uh, strength is a uh, little lesser than the uh, previous one uh, you can see all the working time setting time so we mix powder and uh, water uh, to the desired consistency and pour to the mold and then we have cold cure uh, acrylic powder and liquid this is a uh, danger fabrication material uh, we have basically heat cure which is done under the heat processing this is cold cure we can uh, easily prepare dangers or repair of danger using powder and liquid next we have uh, orange wash gel which is uh, again a two component system which can be mixed to use as a impression material that is secondary impression material uh, used in the fabrication of complete denture these two tubes uh, we should take uh, equal length of material uh, in a glass lab and just like the picture we need to mix it thoroughly then load into the impression tray then take the impression of uh, our uh, maxilla and mandible it's a part of uh, denture fabrication uh, this is silicon based impression material used for uh, creating very finer details of hard and soft tissues so we can uh, use this as a base and catalyst system we can uh, sorry it's almost empty so this base and catalyst uh, will be mixed to a uniform consistency and loaded to the trays to create the uh, impression of uh, hard tissues and soft tissues it gives very minute and finer details compared to the normal alginate impression and other types of impression so this is very commonly used nowadays uh, this is tropic algin, uh, alginate, a better quality uh, which takes impression of our teeth. Uh, similarly, we have uh, the normal alginate that is very commonly used to take the impression of teeth uh, to create removable partial danger, fixed partial danger. So both this uh, normal alginate and uh, the tropic alginate used for impression. So tropic algin uh, is always a better option than the conventional alginate so these are a basic essential requirements of a dental clinic it consists of restorative materials impression material and anesthetic solutions uh, various cast pouring materials and various etchant bonding agent and all these materials are basic requirements of a dental clinic thank you